So you see, my name is really very long. 22 letters. So I also have a Chinese name. And my Chinese name is Wang Zi Yi. Yi Shu de Yi. Okay. Now, which of my Wang Zi? Well, because my wife is Wang, and so after we marry, I say, well, I also need a Chinese name. And she thought about it, and she said, oh, yes, you are my Bai Ma Wang Zi. <laughs> so I like that. Well, today I would like to share with you how important is creativity in our everyday life and how creativity can actually improve our vital energy, which is the topic of this TEDx. Um, first of all, I would like to check with you. Now, what do you think creativity is? Just feel free to share. What is creativity for you? Anyone? Ah, we will go back to this later. Very good answer. Some more? New things. New things, yes, exactly. Hi, Yona. Thinking out of the box. Yes, thinking out of the box. Guys, every answer you gave me is correct. Um, I asked the same question to ChatGPT. I said, hey, Mr. ChatGPT, what is creativity? Then he start thinking, or she, I don't know, it, something like that, start thinking, and then came out with an answer, which is somehow similar to what you said. And ChatGPT said, oh, creativity is the ability to generate novel ideas, solution, expressions. I said, no, 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 hang on, hang on, this is, this is not right, this is really not right. Now, be aware, ChatGPT is great, is what, AI, what does AI mean? Artificial intelligence, but hang on, yes, it is artificial, is intelligent, but we are talking here about AC, not the air conditioner artificial creativity. That means, is ChatGPT good in creativity? Well, the answer is no, not yet. The answer that ChatGPT gave us is not good. So what do I think creativity is? Well, let me tell you, creativity is really about connecting things. Now, let me give a very practical example. Today we had a very heavy rain, right? Now the organizer, what they did is exactly this. They connected things. They thought, ah, oh, we are in trouble. We have to change the venue. So they think creatively and they connected the dots. They connected people here and they say, yeah, we found another venue. Now that is creativity. They connected things. Now. Connecting things is not really my definition, it's his definition. So Mr. Steve Jobs said creativity is just about connecting things. And when you ask people what is creativity and, and they think, oh, creativity is about, for example, being an artist and all that, no, it's not true. It's really about being able to do this to experience some, to get some knowledge, experience it, and then transform it into something. Some of you said it's about making maybe new things. Exactly, that is the right formula. Now, before Steve Jobs, one of my fellow countrymen, Mr. Leonardo da Vinci, did this 500 years ago. He connected things. 
in, in this example, you can see that he drew some beautiful birds, he observed birds, drew beautiful birds, and then he thought, ah, actually, I can create a flying man using the same technology of birds. And that's why we have airplanes today, by observing, by connecting things. These are some weird examples of connecting things, but that is where creativity becomes art in some ways, right? So by connecting interesting things, you can create some kind of artistic stuff. And uh, one of my guru, Ken Robinson, went even further. He said, creativity is so important that we need to teach creativity in schools. Creativity is as important in education as literacy. Imagine the timetable of your children's school. First hour math, second hour PE, third hour creativity, and so on. That is really a game changer. Sir Ken Robinson, in this very famous speech in 2007 that was seen by 23 million viewers, tell a very interesting story. He said there was a girl sitting at the back of the class. She seemed to be not really engaged in what the teacher was saying. And the teacher went close to her and said, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm drawing a picture of God. And the teacher said, well, but nobody knows how God look like. And the girl said, oh, they will know in a minute. So that is the special feature about kids. Kids try, they give a go. They are not afraid to make mistakes. Unfortunately, when we grew, we grew and we are afraid to make mistakes. And our company judge us based on the mistakes we make and don't really value the mistakes. Mistakes are as important as doing the thing in the right way. If we don't make mistakes, we don't learn. So creativity and mistakes are as equally important. But there is one enemy of creativity, which is fear. Again, if we are afraid to make mistakes, we become less creative and our energy in life go down. Now, what is exactly fear? Let me tell you. When you don't know something and you want to know something, imagine there is a gap in between. That gap, uh, we fill it with curiosity. The wider become that gap, the more we are fearful. So if we keep that gap closed between what we don't know and what we know, then we fill it with curiosity, then we are creative and we solve problems. The wider the gap, the more difficult it is. So that means we need to keep learning. Learning is the key. Someone said today, creativity is imagination. Actually, they are different. Let me tell you, what is the difference between creativity and imagination? Imagination is when you imagine things, things that don't exist. Someone said that anything we human being can imagine, it exists. If you imagine UFO, actually, they exist, maybe. we just didn't find out yet. But creativity is different. Creativity is when after you imagine things, you actually make it. That is the difference. If you keep just imagining, but you don't make, you don't create what you imagine, you are just very good at imagination. So creativity is one step forward. You imagine something, you create it. There are pr plenty of examples. This is one of my favorite movie series. It's called Star Trek, 1966, Captain Kirk. You can find on, on the web a lot of this beautiful science fiction uh, short film. Captain Kirk, 
1966 used to call his uh, uh, pairs on this spaceship going everywhere in the universe through this little thing here. What does this look like? 1996, Motorola made this real. So in 1966, someone just imagined that people can communicate with this little thing that boop, flip it open and call someone. So that is imagination and this is creativity. Do you get it? Yeah. Cool, we are alike. So creativity is actually just a muscle. It's just a muscle. You go to gym, you exercise every day, you become bigger, stronger, better. If you train your creativity every day as a muscle in your body, you improve your creativity. So creativity is vitality. And I'm going to test you today. So you maybe have received this piece of paper, did you? So, of course, you also need a pen or a pencil. Let's try to be creative today and connect things. Let me show you my version of it. So, this is what I thought this simple line can be. But again, there is no right or wrong here. You can try your version. Each of this can be something. Now, as I said before, creativity is about connecting things. If you are very good at connecting things, you can even create one whole picture out of it instead of many small ones. Try your best. And while you are trying, I just want to say thank you for listening to my talk and have a good evening, everyone.